Hey guys, that Monkey Gamer back here for another video, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Sniping Series with that Monkey Gamer, guys. It's episode 21. And before I start this video, I'd like to just remind you guys. So as you know, the auction block video is all coming out every single Sunday. Monday through Saturday will be online gameplay with that team. Now, I don't think a lot of people understood what I said or meant by that. Obviously, I did sell the team that I created because I already had six gameplays. They're already going to be scheduled to release one at a time for the next six days up to Saturday. So, obviously, as you can see, this is just my base squad I have. What I want you guys to do is comment either on any of these videos, whatever video you want to comment on, whatever video you think, oh, I really want to comment on this video. Tell me. What players you want me to have at every single position. So I'm going to pretty much construct my team based on your guys' comments. So I don't think a lot of people understood that like when I first uh, was talking about it. Now if you say you want to see Derek Carr, you can tell me, hey, I want to see you play with Derek Carr. Or a different quarterback, whatever quarterback you want to see. And every single week, every single Sunday, I'm going to be reconstructing, well, reconstructing, a team and then uh, the next six days after that the Monday through Saturday you'll see gameplay of those of those team of this um team I constructed every Sunday so that's pretty much how it works guys every single Sunday we will have an auction mark video and then throughout the week as you guys see my team play and as you guys see you know all the pretty much new additions and how they worked out I want you guys to tell me who do you think I should get who do you think I should try out now? And everything like that. So, let's get right into this episode, guys. Obviously, like always, we're going to set up our filters. And, like this. And, of course, you know, we go through every single team just very, very easily. And today, we will be talking about... Hmm, let's see. What should we talk about today? Uh, I will be making a How to Make Coins tip, which is a really good tip. Um, definitely check on my channel. It will be out when this video is out on showing you guys how to make coins off the um, new uh, promo. Just that yeah, new promo that was just released, the Cover Rush promo. So I will be making you know coin tips on that. But what number one? What should you do? Because now the, the Cover Rush uniforms, you know the Cover Rush stuff is out. What should you do right now? Like what's the best thing to do? Well, guys, the best thing to do right now is going to be to sell, again, everything. Now, a lot of gold, silvers, and bronze cards rose up in prices, uh, rose up in price, obviously because those new sets were added to the game. And what you're going to want to do, guys, is honestly take advantage of that. If you have farm accounts or if you guys want to do it now, play the solos where they give you free packs like the Gauntlet solos, the Ultimate Seasons. Play those, grind them out, and actually sell all the cards you get out of those packs because you could pull a actual card that could go for a lot of coins for the fact of the matter of, you know, you're going to, um, what's called, a lot of the gold, silvers, and bronzes went up in price. So if you can actually pull uh, one of those cards that went up in price, you can make a lot of coins. And obviously it's a free pack, so why not to take the, you know, take the advantage of it, of being it, of being a free pack and just, you know, opening them now. So that's something awesome to think about. I do not know currently if the players, I'm actually, wait, I'm pretty sure the players are in the packs. I'm 90% sure. Players are in packs. Obviously, not 100% sure. I don't know 100% if, if they are in packs. I'm guessing they're going to be, but obviously, EA might not put them in packs. Um, and then the collectibles, I'm pretty sure all in packs too, but again, they might not be. So, if, if you find out they are, pro packs might be really, really good now. And this really could impact a lot of things when it comes to the game. So, definitely... Check out Pro Packs, guys, um, with the solo challenges. Obviously, I'd never recommend you spend money on this game. But if you do um, spend money on the game, I'll recommend you pull Pro Packs. And if you're not spending money on the game like I don't, even though I'm a YouTuber, I don't spend money on the game. Uh, I know that's kind of like a weird concept, I guess, because a lot of people are like, Hey, you're a YouTuber. You have to spend money on the game. I just personally don't. Let's look at this um, Kareem Jackson. Actually, this episode, we're going to be looking at these new Color Rush players more in depth because, obviously, I don't think we looked at them as enough. So, 
Um, yeah, I don't spend money on the game, guys. Even though I'm a YouTuber, I want to be able to grind my coins up. And as you see, I'm at a million coins. And pretty much show you guys how to make coins. And show you guys that I'm making a lot of freaking coins, right? Doing my methods. And I'm not spending money on the game. And I know a lot of the other YouTubers have a lot of coins and they spend a lot of money on the game. I'm doing it and not spending a lot of uh, money on the game. So that sh to show you guys, you guys can do it too and not spend a lot of money on the game. So hopefully, you know, that does um, help you guys out. Because I know it's kind of difficult when a YouTuber gives up. This is how you make coins. And then it's like, yeah, but you just opened up like three bundles. So obviously you have a lot of coins. I'm showing you guys how to make coins, and I don't open up any bundles, so that's pretty much how I'm working everything. Hopefully you guys do enjoy that. I, I definitely think you guys probably will because it kind of makes it more realistic with, you know, my tips. Because my tips are giving to you guys, and I'm using it myself, which in, in you know, in fact, must be walking because I'm not spending money on this game. I don't know if there's a way you can check, but obviously you can tell. If I did a bundle, if I spent money on this game, I would upload it to the channel, guys. But I've done solos on countless accounts. But here is the Gary Bondage. We have 82 speed, 78 strength, 74 run block, 88 catching, 82 elusiveness. I'm oh, sorry, release, 85 route running, 87 catching traffic, and 85 jumping. Um, What's his? Oh, wait, no. His run block is right there, my bad. Um, next guy we have here is Trent Williams, who is a beast and a half. 89 speed, or 89 strength, 81 run block, 90 pass block, 82 impact block. Um, next guy we have here is Kareem Jackson. 87 speed, 89, uh, 83 man, 89 zone, 92 press, 88 play rec, and 66 catching. Uh, let's see what next player we have here. CJ Mosley, which I am definitely want to add this guy to the squad. 85 speed, 86 awareness, 90 tackling, 86 play rec, 84 block shed, 91 pursuit, 71 zone, and 86 hit power. Uh, we have Gerard McCoy, of course. 70 speed, 90 strength, 88 tackle, 83 block shed, 92 power move, 79 finesse move. And then we have 84 play rec and 81 pursuit. Next guy we have here is Bowman, who is 82 speed, 89 awareness, 91 tackle, 89 play rec, 84 block shed, 92 pursuit, 75 zone, 92 hit power. And now we have Kyle Long, which let's see how many Kyle Longs I have. I have two Kyle Longs. I thought I actually have three Kyle Longs. This is because I completed the bear set, which is the cheapest set to do, three different times to get um, the man of the month set done. Obviously, the only sets I didn't do were Tyler Lockett, which is way too many coins. Stefan Diggs, who is actually not that expensive now. And then I think the last one was... Ooh, I forget what the last one was. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember. It, it was whatever player is really expensive. But this is his card now compared to his older card. It's not too much of an upgrade, honestly. Like, what? Plus one? I know it's only a two plus two upgrade. But it's like literally, what, plus one, plus one, plus two, plus two, plus one, plus one, same speed, and plus one agility. So it's not really worth the upgrade, especially for 200k. That is definitely not worth it. But here is Javaris Landry, 87 speed, 89 catching, 86 elusiveness, 87 spec catch, 83 release, 86 route running, 87 catching traffic, and 84 jumping. So obviously... We do have collectibles too. Do we have any elite collectibles? All right, so it's not. Actually, let's take a look at the uniforms more in depth because I know I did make a video on this, guys, but I just wanted to look at some of the uniforms and let's see how hard it is actually to complete the set. So I did get a comment and I think someone said that this um, whole entire set, you have to complete all 32 of these uniforms to do the to get the Todd Gurley, which is crazy. So... Hopefully that is, um, obviously that I think that is the case because what is this, Color Rush Elites and you get these for completing every single set and it looks like you have to get four of these. So yeah, you have to get 32. So you have to get all these done in order to complete this. That is ridiculous, honestly. And of course, if you do put 32 any NFL alternates, you get a Blake uniform, but this will cost you 32K to complete that set. But 
there's no point to because let's look at the solos every single day there's going to be new solos coming out and as you can see i did complete the solo challenges but um i think it's you get like two or three blank uniforms you get like four or five collectibles and honestly it's not worth it to you know pay when you could just probably play solos for a couple of days and be able to complete any set of these that you pretty much want to and the sets are three gold players, it's um, four silvers, four bronzes, and then any team color collectible, and then a blank uniform, and then two of the cover wash brown unis um, that you have, as you can see, 4,000. And that's pretty much it, so, eh, it's definitely cool. I gotta say, let's see, let's go through them real fast and see which one would be my favorite uniform to do. Bears look like the normal ones, um... Well, I really like the uh, Bucks. I really like these. Um, Cardinals look awesome. Chargers definitely look awesome. Um, eh. I, yeah, the Falcons look cool. Now, it might just be like the glow on them, but the 49ers look cool too. Um, Jags, I kind of like. I don't know. These kind of look like mustard. Do you see, guys? Doesn't that look like kind of like mustard? I don't know. I, I know a lot of people last year said, like, the ketchup versus mustard bowl. Uh, Patriots are kind of cool. Um, Ravens, I really like with the gold numbering. Uh, Seahawks, of course, are pretty much everyone's favorite. And let's see if the collectible is going for a lot of coins. It probably is. Um, it's going for about four point, yeah, 4,800, which is pretty much a sentence for a lot of them. And especially with the, these players... Oh my god, I can just imagine. How much the Seahawks gold is going for now? They were going for 7 to 8k. I just imagine right now they're going for a lot more than that. Are there any gold cover rush players? No, there's not. Okay. But yeah, I'm just imagining that they go for a lot more coins now because of the sets are out. Oh my god, this is going to be crazy, guys. Um, Let's see. They go for... 9k now so the lowest could be 9k when before it was like you know the lowest was um what was that the lowest hmm i think the lowest was like four five k now it's 9k that's crazy but um let's go to texans look awesome and vikings i love so guys let's actually talk about something that you could have invested in and this actually might be something you could invest in for the future so this is actually kind of interesting. If we go to milestone sets, now they're adding players to these milestone sets all the time now it looks like. And this could actually really impact you. So Andrew Luck, before this milestone you know, set came out, his call was around 13 to 14k. Now it's at 25k. So if you invested, let's say, 10 of, uh, in 10 of them, uh, you, let's say you bought 10 Andrew Lucks, and now you're selling them back, you're going to make at least 30, 40, 50 K profit. And obviously if you invested a lot into it, you could actually really make a lot back. So it looks like these kind of, in a way, these base elites could really look, you know, forward to being, if you can guess the right uh, base elite that goes into the set, you can make a lot of coins. Uh, of course, base elites, team of the weeks, um, all type of things, as you can see. But if you can guess the right one and invest in that player, you might be able to make a lot of coins off doing this, guys. So this might be the video right now. But I will, this episode will be coming to an end. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Like for more videos. See you guys in the next one. Opening them now. So that's something awesome to think about. I do not know currently if the players... I'm Actually, wait. I'm pretty sure the players are in the packs. I'm 90% sure players are in packs obviously not 100% sure I don't know 100% if, if they all in packs I'm guessing they're going to be but obviously EA might not put them in packs um and then the collectibles I'm pretty sure all in packs too but again they might not be so if, the, if you find out they are pro packs might be really really good now and this really could impact a lot of things when it comes to the game so definitely check out pro packs guys um with the solo challenges obviously i never recommend you spend money on this game but if you do um spend money in the game i recommend you pull pro packs and if you're not spending money in the game like i don't even though i'm a youtuber i don't spend money in the game uh I
Hey guys, that Monkey Gamer back here for another video, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Sniping Series with that Monkey Gamer, guys. It's episode 21. And before I start this video, I'd like to just remind you guys. So as you know, the auction block video is all coming out every single Sunday. Monday through Saturday will be online gameplay with that team. Now, I don't think a lot of people understood what I said. I meant by that, obviously, I did sell the team that I created because I already had six gameplays. They're already going to be scheduled to release one at a time for the next six days up to Saturday. So, obviously, as you can see, this is just my base squad I have. What I want you guys to do is comment either on any of these videos, whatever video you want to comment on, whatever video you think, oh, I really want to comment on this video. Tell me. What players you want me to have every single position? So I'm going to pretty much control. So let's get right into this episode, guys. Obviously, like always, we're going to set up our filters and like this. And of course, you know, we go through every single team just very, very easily. And today we will be talking about. Hmm. Let's see. What should we talk about today? Uh, I will be making a how to make coins tip, which is a really good tip. Um, definitely check on my channel. It will be out when this video is out on showing you guys how to make coins off the um, new uh, promo. Just that yeah, new promo that was just released, the cover wash promo. So I will be making you know coin tips on that. But what number one? What should you do? Because now the, the cover wash uniforms, you know, the cover wash stuff is out. What should you do right now? Like, what's the best thing to do? Well, guys, the best thing to do right now is talk to my team based on your guys' comments. So, I don't think a lot of people understood that, like, when I first uh, was talking about it. Now, if you say you want to see Derek Carr, you can tell me, hey, I want to see you play with Derek Carr. Or a different quarterback, whatever quarterback you want to see. And every single week, every single Sunday, I'm going to be reconstructing, well, reconstructing a team... And then uh, the next six days after that, the Monday through Saturday, you'll see gameplay of those of those team of this um team I constructed every Sunday. So that's pretty much how it works, guys. Every single Sunday, we will have an auction block video, and then throughout the week, as you guys see my team play, and as you guys see, you know, all the pretty much new additions and how they worked out, I want you guys to tell me who do you think I should get. Who do you think I should try out now and everything like that? It's going to be to sell, again, everything. Now, a lot of gold, silvers, and bronze cards rose up in prices, uh, rose up in price, obviously because those new sets were added to the game. And what you're going to want to do, guys, is honestly take advantage of that. If you have farm accounts or if you guys want to do it now, play the solos where they give you free packs like the Gauntlet solos, the Ultimate Seasons. Play those, grind them out, and actually sell all the cards you get out of those packs because you could pull a actual card that could go for a lot of coins for the fact of the matter of, you know, you're going to, um, what's called, a lot of the gold, silvers, and bronzes went up in price. So if you can actually pull uh, one of those cards that went up in price, you can make a lot of coins. And obviously it's a free pack, so why not to take the, you know, take the advantage of it, of being, it, of being a free pack and just, you know, 